all of us have lost somebody close to us to cancer. Cancer is a, a lifestyle disease. It's now becoming a global disease that affects every community and every strata of society. Cancer also remains the last frontier in terms of medical treatment. Virtually every cancer medicine has unwanted side effects. If we could use some of our traditional medicines, particularly essential oils from plants and spices, which are known to have medicinal properties, including antibacterial and anti-cancer properties, then potentially we have a treatment that is sufficiently benign that you don't have to worry about the, the side effects that could happen. So what is preventing us from using these essential oils from plants and spices? One of the reasons is that they're just not as effective as the more synthetic formulations that um, uh, the medical field has come up with. In this study that is presented in this paper, we have prepared a nano emulsion of cumin seed oil in which the other components are between 80 surfactant and water. And these nano emulsions have been tested for their physical characteristics, including the size distribution, the polydispersity, as well as their uh, properties such as viscosity and so on. And they have also been analyzed through a, a gas chromatograph using mass spectroscopy to identify the predominant species that is present in, in the formulation. And it has been found in our laboratory studies, which will be detailed in the paper, that the nano emulsions that we have prepared in this manner have been very effective in these tested aspects. This gives us hope that with further development work and certainly further validation through field trials involving animals and later humans, we may be able to develop an anti-cancer drug which not only has the necessary medicinal properties, but which can also be formulated and processed in such a way that it is competitive with many of the cancer treatment procedures that are available today. We are very excited about this study and we look forward to your reading of the paper and any feedback that you may have. Thank you.